Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Eddie, um, we've just watched Reese Bellotti and Liam Dillon go to absolute war. We thought it would be a good fight. It was a good fight. Yeah, it was incredible. I mean, you know, sometimes you make a fight like that and you think, now, I know it's my job to hype fights up, but can this be anything but a classic? And that's what they gave us tonight, you know. I mean, fair play to Liam Dillon. He was tough as they come. Re never stopped trying, you know, refused to give in, got hit with a kitchen sink, you know, and started to wear Bellotti down a little bit in the late rounds, but Reese was, you know, punch perfect early on. So happy for him. Liam Dillon will come again, but Reese Bellotti, whose career looked over, you know, has come back with, what, four wins now, won the Commonwealth title up at Super Featherweight, um, you know, and now wins the British title. That Lonsdale belt is, is so valuable to, to guys like Reese Bellotti, and uh, he deserves it. Very pleased for him. Just an incredible fight. Um, Cameron Vong looked really good tonight. You know, big step up against Ishmael Ennis, but dealt with him in style. And, of course, now we announced the Jordan Flynn fight, which had its own little tear up in there tonight and that's a big fight for April 13th you know I think it's a great card Jordan uh, Gill against Zelfa Barrett you know and, and looking forward to see you time not yet we're working on it okay and uh, that's a great fight for the Manchester card Cameron Vong against Jordan Flynn and um, Craig Richards oh my god you know Bruce Crichton how tough was he? You know, Craig dusting off the, the cobwebs, if you like. And uh, I thought he was brilliant tonight. Walked him down and stopped him. And um, yeah, great performance from him. Shannon Ryan, I thought, was fantastic. And shout out to her opponent as well. She was you know, excellent. She'll come again, I think, a fight with Maisie Rose and Shannon Ryan coming through that terrible cut. Emma Dolan, one more. And then the world title for Shannon Ryan. And John Hedges with a great knockout. Ibrahim Suleiman took a big step up tonight. Um, and... Uh, Jack Oliphant as well, I thought he was fantastic. Great, great support. Great night. Fantastic venue as well. I love it in here. And uh, yeah, great next gen night. Yeah, really good night here at the, uh, at the Indigo. Um, moving on, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia over the line. Um, that is a proper mega, mega fight. That. Yeah, I think it's one of the fights of the year. You know, I think it's the, the perfect fight for Devin. It's definitely the perfect fight for DeZone. Um, it could be the perfect fight for Ryan, we'll see. But fair play to both of them. You know, Devin is fast becoming the face of boxing. He's taking all challenges. And Ryan Garcia didn't need to take the fight. You know, stepped up, wants to challenge the best, wants to try and win a world title. So fair play to him. And April 20, a massive event. Is Bill pimping out Devin? No, Bill, listen, Bill's, Bill's running the show. You know what I mean? Listen, we're happy to be involved, but Bill's leading the ship on this one, you know, and he's done a great job. He's been calling everybody out. He's been, you know... Champion in Devin for a long time. Busy man. Yeah, he has. But, you know, look at the job he's done over for Devin's career so far. And now lands him a mega money fight and, and one that he's a big favourite in. I mean, from a numbers perspective, you said the zone will be delighted. Um, they must be frothing at the mouth. Because from a numbers perspective, um, this must be a massive fight for them. Yeah, for sure. You know, I mean, it really is a huge fight um, that can do massive numbers. And, you know, when the zone just keep pulling these big fights out for the schedule. And there's a lot more to come. Some big announcements coming over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. I know, I think his last stoppage was 2019, Devin. Um, can he stop Ryan Garcia? I believe he can, yeah. I mean, if Ryan's aggressive in the fight, which you'd expect him to be, I think he can stop him. But, you know, Ryan's tough. He can whack as well. It's a brilliant fight between two of the very best in the sport. Yeah. We just spoke to Conor Ben. He said he's um, disappointed that it's not going to be Haney, but he kind of never thought it, it was going to be anyway. Um, but he wants Tank. He's adamant that it's going to be Tank. Um, where are we at with that? Yeah, we've made Tank an offer. I think it's a big offer and there's a lot of upside on pay-per-view and gate that I think he needs to explore as well. It's not really a fight that I anticipated, but I think it's a fight that can happen. And, um, you know, I think if we can just be sensible and sit down and talk through numbers, I think there's enough money in the pot to keep everybody happy. So, Connor loves the fight. He's been on at me non-stop since he's been at him at, at social media, asking me to make the fight. And we'll see where we get to this week. Yeah. Do you think Connor should perhaps have to almost prepare himself to have to bring himself back down a little bit because if it isn't tank when you look at the fight numbers wise financially it's such a huge yeah, fight I mean, if it isn't tank it is going to be a bit of a drop off I mean he's going to be in a massive fight next you know and obviously we've got the case coming up in a couple of weeks and once that's dealt with that'll allow us to see it much more clearer in terms of where he's going to fight and who he's going to fight so Connor has to be in a massive fight next tank is one of the biggest fights in the world you know um, but every fight involving Conor Ben is a big one and it has to be a big name next. Are we still allowed to talk about the Eubank fight or are we I'm just sure. brushing that aside for a bit anymore? It's done. You know, he's, he's not a real player. So we'd love it, but common sense didn't prevail.
Um, I don't know if you know, Hamza Shearer has won inside yeah. a round against Liam Williams. Um, for the match from Queensbury 5v5, Hamza and Ammo Williams. Love it. Love the fight. WBC eliminator. It's a brilliant fight. Ammo's a great character. Hamza Shiraz is a great fighter as well. I know Queensbury rate him very highly. And if the middleweight division gets selected, I believe our pick may well be Ammo Williams. Um, Taylor Catra, are we close to getting an announcement? Uh, look, I want to make that fight so bad. You know, I think it's one of the biggest fights that can get made in Britain. It's the, probably the bit where it is the biggest grudge match in British boxing. But, you know, we're not really in the pay-per-view market anymore like we were. We want to deliver fights for subscribers, and it's difficult to do it with the price of these fights. But if we can find a way to deliver Taylor Catchell, it'll be Christmas time for DAZN subscribers. We'll see if we can. You know, I think either way we'll know this week. If not, it's a fight that falls on, on Sky then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's been pay-per-view offers for that fight, but we would rather just deliver that non-pay-per-view to our subscribers. Yeah, considering the lack of involvement in Saudi Arabia from Boxer and... I know Sky obviously are showing Fury Usyk, etc. But considering the lack of involvement in Saudi from Ben Shalom and Boxer, um, have they got kind of a chance to jump on the domestic schedule here? Because obviously we, we've got a lot of our fighters going to Saudi Arabia, like your Cordinas, etc. They need fights. They need pay-per-views. But it doesn't mean you just do one for the sake of it. You know, I've been there before and you've got to provide value. And, you know, I would love to provide incredible value for design subscribers. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.